Call me Ishmael. Some years ago, never mind how long, having little money in my purse and nothing to interest me on shore, I put me down for a whaling voyage to sail about and see the watery part of the world. When on that winter's night the Pequod thrust her vindictive bows into the cold, malicious waves, a black, evil magic shivered in the air. A heathen crew that had small touch of human mothers in them, and housed in his cabin, there sat brooding a madman captain that no man aboard had ever seen. A madman with a stick of whalebone for a leg. For several days after leaving Nantucket, Nothing above hatches was seen of Captain Ahab. It was a short, cold Christmas, and as the northern day merged into night, we found ourselves on a wintry sea whose freezing spray cased us in ice. When darkness came on, sky and sea split with thunder, blazed with the lightning. Then suddenly, I looked at the taffrail, and there upon his quarterdeck stood Captain Ahab. Mr. Starbuck, send everybody aft. Captain Ahab, sir. Send everybody aft. Mastheads there, come down. Aye, sir. Aye, sir. But Captain Ahab, in a wind like this... Muster all hands aft, you hear? Aye, sir. All hands aft! All hands aft! All hands are here, sir. Thank you, Mr. Starbuck. Do you hear me there, men? Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye. What do you do when you see a whale, men? Sing out for him. Sing out, we Sing out loud. Aye. Aye. Uh, sing out for him, then, do you? And what do you do next, men? Lower away and after him. Aye. That's right, Captain. And what tune is it you pull to, men? A dead whale or a stove boat. Aye, 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 aye. aye. aye that's the tune, my boy. All ye mastheaders. Have any of you afore now heard me give orders concerning a white whale? Look, do you see this Spanish ounce of gold? A sixteen-dollar gold piece, man, do you see it? Aye, we see it, Captain. Hand me yon top maul, Mr. Starbuck. I'll fix this gold piece to the mast. And whosoever of ye raises me a white-headed whale with a wrinkled brow and a crooked jaw, whosoever of ye raises me that same white whale with three holes punctured in his starboard fluke, look ye, whosoever of ye raises me that same white whale, ye shall have this gold ounce, me boys. It's a white whale, I say. A white whale. Skin your eyes for him, men. Look sharp for white water. If ye but see a bubble, sing out. Captain Ahab, be that the whale some call Moby Dick? Moby Dick. Do you know the white whale, then? Does he fantail a little curious, sir, before he goes down? And a curious bout, too, Captain. Have he one, two, three... Good many iron in his hide, too, Captain. Aye. The harpoons lie all twisted and wrenched in him. Aye, his spout's a big one, like a whole shock of wheat, and white as Nantucket wool. Aye, and he fantails like a split jib in a squall. Death and devils, men. It is Moby Dick. You've seen Moby Dick. Captain Ahab. Yes, Mr. Starbuck. I, too, have heard of Moby Dick. But was it he took off thy leg? Who told you that? Aye, Starbuck. <laughs> Aye, my hat is all round. It was Moby Dick that dismasted me. Moby Dick that brought me to this dead stump I stand on now. Aye, aye. It was that cursed white whale that received me. Made a poor pig in lubber of me to the end of time. Aye, and I'll taste him round Good Hope, and round the Horn, and round the Norway Maelstrom, 
and round partitions flames before I give him up. And that's what ye've shipped for, men, to chase him on both sides of land and over all sides of earth till he spouts black blood and rolls fin out. What say, men? Will ye place hands on it now? I think ye do look brave. Aye. 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 A sharp eye for a white whale. A sharp lance for Moby Dick. Aye. Aye. We'll hunt him, Captain. Aye. 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 God bless ye, men. Steward, go draw the great measure of drug. Drink and pass, and rum for all. Rum, I say! Round with it, round. Long swallows, men! <laughs> Long swallows! It's as hot as Satan's hoof. It spiralizes in ye. Forks out at the serpent's snapping eye. <laughs> Drink, ye harpooners. Drink and swear death to Moby Dick. <laughs> Lift harpoons, me cup bearers. Drink, me sweet cardinals. I commend the murderous chalice to your lips. Drink and swear. Aye. Ahoy, ahoy there aboard the Jeroboam! Have you seen the white whale? Ahoy, the Pequod! What whale do you say? The white whale! Sperm whale! Moby Dick, have you seen him? No, sir! I've never heard of such a whale. Uh, curses throttle thee. Up helm, sail all sail. Keep out of the wind. Aye, aye sir. Morning, Mr. Starbuck. Good morning, sir. Well then, Mr. Starbuck, what's the long face about? No matter, sir. Speak, man, would ye not chase the white whale? Are ye not game for Moby Dick? I'm game for his crooked jaw. Game for the jaws of death, Captain Ahab, if all comes fairly. But I came here to hunt whales, not my commander's vengeance. How many barrels will your vengeance fetch in the Nantucket market, Captain Ahab? Come closer, Starbuck. Money's not the measure of my lad. Let me tell ye, my vengeance will fetch a premium here, here in this hut. Nay, sir. But vengeance on a dumb brute that smoked you from blindest instinct. It's blasphemous. Madness and blasphemy. Thank you, Mr. Starbuck. There's one god that's lord over the earth and one captain that's lord over the Pequod. Do you so much as dare think critically of me? I spoke too rashly. My conscience is in this ship's keel, Mr. Starbuck. And though my motive and my object may be mad, I'll hunt the white whale. I'm bound to hunt him, heart, soul, and body, lungs, and life. Do you hear, though the wildest winds of heaven and earth conspire against me, I'll wreak my hate upon him. Oh, the lightning flashes through my skull and mine eyeballs ache and ache. My whole beaten brain seems beheaded and rolling on some stone. Cunning ground. My heart is sick. I'll go below. It's like going down into a tomb for an old captain to descend this narrow scuttle down to his grave dug bed. I seek my nightly grave to sleep between shrouds, and down I go, griping at the iron banister to help me crippled way. <laughs> Hark to the crack and din of my bony step. My dreams will be of the crunching teeth of sharks. <laughs> if I could sleep, old age is wakeful. I, Ishmael, was one of the crew aboard the Pequod. I, too, had sworn to murder Moby Dick, and as the days went by, the more did I hammer and clinch my oath because of the dread in my soul. 
Your true whale hunter is as much a savage as any cannibal, but the harpooners board the Pequod were savages indeed. Tashtigo, the blood-skinned Iroquois, Queequeg, a tattooed island aboriginal, and Great Dagoo, a giant coal-black African. The blacksmith's forge was on the deck, lashed fast by ring bolts to the foremast, and there the savages would crouch to worship fire. There too one day came Cap'n Ahab to watch the sparks fly and hear the hammer ring. Blacksmith, what are you making there? Oh, welding an old pike, sir. And can ye make it all smooth after such hard usage as it had? Mm, I think so, sir. And I suppose you can smooth most any seams and dents, no matter how hard the metal. Aye, sir, I think I can. All seams and dents, but one. Look ye here, then, blacksmith, look ye here. Can ye smooth out a seam like this one upon my brow? If he but could, glad would I lay my head upon thy anvil and feel thy heaviest hammer between my eyes. Answer, can ye smooth this seam? Oh, uh, that's the one, sir. Uh, <laughs> Said I not all seams and dents, but one. Aye, blacksmith, tis the one, for though ye see it in my flesh, it has worked down into the bone of my skull. That is all wrinkles. <laughs> But away with child's play. No more gaffs and pikes today. Look here. I want a harpoon maid. One that a thousand yoke of fiends could never part. Something that will stick in a whale like his own fin bone. There's the stuff. Look ye, blacksmith, these are the gathered nail stubs of the steel shoes of racing horses. Oh, shoe stubs, Why, there's the best and stubbornest stuff we blacksmiths ever wear. Aye, so tis indeed. These stubs will weld together like glue from the melted bones of murderers. Quick, forge me the harpoon. Uh, hammer, man! Temper the steel till it smells of fire, like a musket's powder pan. Ha! Now my harpoon is done. Sail ho! Where away? Three points of the starboard bow, sir. Hand me a trumpet there. Ship ahoy aboard the Albatross. Have you seen the white whale? White whale, sperm whale, Moby Dick! Beware of him! The harpoon's not yet forged that'll kill Moby Dick! Look ye, Nantucketer! Here in this hand I hold his death! Tempered in blood and tempered by lightning are these barbs! And I swear to temper triply in the hot place behind his fin! Where Moby Dick most feels his cursed life. God have mercy on thee, then. The black vomit wrench thee. Race forward there. Up helm and keep her to the course. Aye, aye, sir. He's in these seas. Somewhere in these seas, old Moby Dick is swimming. <laughs> Morning, morning, Mr. Starbuck. Morning, sir. It's a mild wind and a mild-looking sky. Aye. Indeed it is, sir. <laughs> On such a day, very much such a sweetness as this, I struck my first whale. A boy harpooner of 18. 40 years ago. 40 years on the pitiless sea. And of these 40 years, I've not spent three ashore. For 40 years, I've fed on dry, salted fare when the poorest landsman had fresh fruit to his daily hand. Away, whole oceans away from the girl wife that I wedded. 
I widowed that poor girl when I married her, Starbuck. Her. What a 40 years. 40 years fool as I have been. How the richer or better is I have now. Do I look old? So very old, Starbuck. I feel deadly faint, bowed and humped. As though I were Adam staggering beneath the piled up centuries since paradise. Stand close to me, Starbuck. Let me look into a human eye. Ah, this is the magic glass man. I see a green land. I see my wife and child in thine eye. Captain, let's leave these deadly waters. Let's sail for home. Think how joyously we'd bowl our way to old Nantucket Harbor, sir. Home and harbor, I. Home is pitiful, and in the harbor there is safety, comfort, hearthstone, warm blankets, friends, and all that's kind to our mortalities. It's a mild wind to carry us home, and the air smells now as if it blew from a faraway meadow. They've been making hay on the slopes of the Andes, Starbuck, and the mowers are sleeping among the new mown hay. Captain Ahab, sir, shall I give the orders? Shall I tell them to put about to sail for home, sir? Home? Aye. Home. Capture him, old man. In heaven's name, no more of this. It's worse than devil's madness. Which way do you see him? Sing out for every spout, though he spout ten times a second. There she blows, there again. Where to? Straight to lower. Lay me on, boys, lay me on. Pull me, hearties. Do you see that white water? I shall go staring mad. Pull, babes. Pull and keep pulling. Burst your livers and your lungs. We're coming up. Steady, boys. Steady. Help me, man. I wish to stand the harpoon now. The eternal sap is running in old Ahab's arm. I'll try again. You got it. is broken. The harpoon is gone. It's a omen, Captain. Shall we keep chasing this murderous fish till he swamps the last man? Shall we be dragged by him to the bottom of the sea? Ahab is forever Ahab, man. This deed's immutably decreed, and I am the fate's lieutenant under orders. Where is he now? I can't see the spout, sir. It's too dark to see. There he is. Straight before oh, He shoots like an arrow out of the sea. Stand by me, men. 
he see an old man cut down to the stump leaning on a shattered lance, but tis Ahab believe ye men in things called omens. Do ye feel brave? After him! Row then! Master, the sea's alive with sharks. They crowd our wake like vultures. Far ahead, too far ahead, I meet ye this time, Moby Dick. Steer for the open jaw, me boys. I grin at you, you grinning whale. Oh, his sweet powers of air hug me close. The lance now, steady. Oh, my eyes are blind. I cannot see. Yet, from hell's heart, I stab at thee, Moby Dick. For hate's sake, I spit my breath at thee. The jaw, the jaw. The drama's done, the Pequod, all her crew and captain drowned, and only I, Ishmael, escaped to tell this tale. Oh, Ahab, my captain, noble soul, still do you move before me in all your majesty, up from the spray of your ocean perishing into the unbodied air. Here. Far waterlocked, beyond all hum of human weal and woe, where for long Chinese ages the billows have rolled on, speechless and unspoken to, is now my most familiar home, here in that awful waterland, amid the world's foundations where unrecorded names and navies rust, ballasted with bones of millions of the drowned, I lay me down. Oh, I have seen enough to split the planets and make Abraham an infidel, yet not one syllable is mine. Oh, hey. Great Moby Dick, most mighty, broad, baronial tyrant of the sea. All thy unnameable minglings float beneath me here, buoyed by the breaths of one-time living things exhaled as air. But all is water now. Thou art my tongue. Thy throne is here in these unverged seas. O oh, lonely death on lonely life. And this great shroud, the sea, rolls on as it has rolled 5,000 years ago. Thank you.